As Craig Taylor's family says he had a contagious smile, was a full-time college student, and had a full-time job. His family says he goes to Mexico every year during spring break. They had no idea a fun night out of town would turn into a nightmare. He would have been home tomorrow. Now the family wants the person or people involved in his death behind bars. Ooh, Craig Taylor had his whole been. life ahead of him. He was only 21. He loved to like go out, have fun like all the time. He was studying nursing in Valencia College, had a full-time job, and loved to go to Mexico every year. They go every year around this time, so this is probably like their, their third year going. Taylor, his brother, and some friends went to Cancun for spring break. They left on Friday. The second night they were there, they went to a nightclub. All we know is um, he got kicked out of the club. Um, his brothers, they, they didn't know he got kicked out. Ivory like, Nesbitt says his friend filed a missing persons report. Sunday morning, Mexican authorities discovered Taylor's body on a dirt road. They say he was strangled. He had like no watch on him. They Somebody took his wallet. He had nothing like no idea or anything like that. Prosecutors are questioning five employees from the bar and the owner, but no one's been arrested. My sister woke me up and she was screaming and Craig's dead. I'm like, Craig is dead? Like, I'm like, are you joking? She's like, no. And then I woke up, I had like five missed calls and my aunt called me, my mom called me, everybody called me screaming, crying. Now, I contacted the State Department and Senator Marco Rubio's office. Rubio's press secretary says they'll work with the State Department to see what they can do to bring Taylor's body back to the U.S. The family says his funeral will be March 22nd. Jackie Orozco, Fox 35 News.